Scorpio, these are your tarot messages for this week. Let's see. Mm, oh, wow. Okay, wow. This is good. Look at you. You got the Six of Cups. This is Sun and Scorpio. And the Sun came up, you know, it fell out for everybody when I was shuffling the deck. So this is talking about reminiscing, right? Thinking about the past. It's also talking about children, you know? You're making a habit out of dealing with your emotions in a positive way. One that is going to benefit you, you know? And you're, deal you're, you're realizing that there are many different ways to sort of like uh, cope with your emotions, right? This is also a compassionate view of the past, right? It's forgiving, too. You're forgiving some things, and you're also asking for forgiveness. Even if you're not, like, going to the people and asking for forgiveness, you're asking for forgiveness, you know, in, a, like, a spiritual way. This card can be very Neptunian as well. I mean, it's uh, it kind of, like, everything says that it's not because the sixth house is Virgo, and that's opposite Neptune energy, and this is Scorpio. But... You know, it's kind of like that that idea of daydreaming or going from one place to another, right? It's weird because it's like, it's like you're looking at the past, so you're like going back. It's like that's the time travel. It's like when you experience the emotional trigger of having emotions that... Or it's like, it's like when you smell something that kind of gives you a feeling, not deja vu, but it gives you that feeling of being right back in a place that you once were. It's like, you know, the people that were around you at that time. It's like, it's so crazy, but you're not there. You know, it's like that type of thing. So you're kind of like going back and you're thinking about some stuff. And you're realizing, well, maybe, maybe this is who I was then. And this is who I am now. Because the sixes are really talking about in the moment. Now, in the moment. Right? So you're living in the moment. And then you're allowing what, what wants to occur, you're letting that happen, right? So whether it's like if something wants to organically leave or come in, then you're allowing for that to happen, right? Because you're kind of like going with the flow as well, you know? Um, and I feel like you also might even be looking forward to the spring, maybe like the end of May and the beginning of June around that time. You might be looking forward to something. And this is also just talking about bringing focus to your children, right? Perhaps that, because this is related to children, this card here. Uh, this is also talking about maybe enjoying work. Again, feeling a little bit more optimistic about work. Or this could even be talking about wanting to kind of like... Uh, create because the sun in Scorpio is very much about like creation wanting to create some things that are going to be consistent for you and ongoing in terms of your work right your work environment or your work uh relationship or the relationship that you have with work right because this is talking about intimate relationships it's talking about shared resources right and it's talking about money in a way too so you might be feeling a little bit better about your money and and maybe even about business, you know, because it looks like they kind of have a little business going on here, right? They're like selling lilies or whatnot. But this is talking about purity. It's talking about softness. It's talking about optimism, right? So you're feeling better about something right now in this moment, okay? And you value, you're valuing that experience and you're looking forward to continuing to because you're doing the work that it takes to sort of like enjoy this moment and heal from the past and you're realizing where you may have been blocking yourself in the past, right? And you're like, and you're glad, you're glad. Hey Scorpio, this is going to be your Romance Angels Oracle card for this week. Happy Valentine's Day and you got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Well, passion is something that you actually uh, are, <laughs> you're passionate uh, it doesn't really matter what it is that you're doing. You're passionate about it, that's for sure. Uh, and this card is talking about that, you know? And it's so funny because, you know, with you, uh, Leo, and Libra, I, I put the two cards next to each other just so I could give it to you. Because this card is talking about, you know, um, soul, right? And it's talking about, you know, joyful energy, right? Singing with, singing with, you know, letting your heart sing, uh, you're letting your heart and soul sing with joy. This card definitely em emulates that, depicts that energy, right? Two children with lilies and flowers. You better believe they might be singing. 
<laughs> okay? And it's just talking about happiness, too, here, right, Scorpio? And you might be just finding happiness in your children, right? You're passionate about that. It's talking about heart, right? Um, yeah, so definitely allow yourself to enjoy the things that, you know, make you feel passionate about life. Whatever that is, whether it's your children, it's your family, or maybe it's some things that you used to do that you enjoy that you may have, like, sort of, like, taken out of your, your regular everyday life that now you can put back in, right, to kind of, like, awaken this part of you that, that you know, is going to just kind of, like, encourage you to just be more passionate about life in general, you know what I mean? But this is definitely talking about business as well and being your passion that you have for your business and like wanting to change things like and have them sort of like, um, you know, grow and develop. Right. Because the sixes are talking about development and improvements. Right. So you you could have improved your feelings, have improved about something and you're feeling newly passionate about it again in a different way. OK. All right. It could even be a relationship. You know what I mean? For some of you that are married, perhaps, right? Intimate relationships, that would be a marriage, right? The six of cups, you know, that type of energy. Reigniting the passion in the relationship this Valentine's Day. Very good for you, Scorpio.